I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on application of J rule. The question here is find dy dx when x equals to 3, f of 8 equals to 0 and the derivative of the function at 8 is 3. y equals to square root of x plus f of x square minus 1 is the function. right? So for this function, we need to find derivative, that is dy dx, when x is 3. So when x is 3, we are also given that f of 8 equals to 0 and f dash of 8 equals to 3. So in such questions, it's a good idea to find the value of whatever is given here at point of interest, which is x equals to 3. So if I substitute 3 here, what do I get? I get square root of plus f of 3 square minus 1 and that gives us square root of 3 plus f of 3 square is 9 and 9 minus 1 is 8 and that is the reason we are given derivative at 8 and the value at 8 for the given function I hope now you can make a connection right so let's begin we are given the function y equals to square root of x plus f of x square minus 1. Let's rewrite this function. y equals to square root of x plus f of x square minus 1. Now derivative with respect to x will be dy dx, right? Now dy dx of the whole function is half, that is, all this is to the power of half. You could also write this as x plus f x square minus 1 to the power of half. Right? Some of you may like to do it like this. So half of the whole function which is x plus f x square minus 1 I mean to the power of half minus 1 so that gives you minus half times derivative of inside functions times d dx of inside function which is x plus f of x square minus 1. Now we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 square root of this x plus f x square minus 1 times derivative of this function is derivative of x is 1 and derivative of this function will be plus derivative of x square minus 1 right times derivative of inside function so let me write down here as d dx of x square so that is how the chain rule works so you have to move inside now we could write this as all this could be written right on the top so we get 1 plus derivative of x square minus 1 and derivative of 2x is x square is 2x we can times 2x divided by 2 square root of x plus f of x square minus 1 correct so we have found the derivative and now we need to find the derivative at x equals to 3. So we'll replace x with 3. So I'll use some space which we are left with in this corner. Okay. So now we'll evaluate dy dx when x is equal to 3. We already seen that the inside term will be 3 plus f square root 8, right? anyway so this is equal to so we'll replace 3 in this particular equation okay let me write here dy dx at x equals to 3 I'm sorry 3 so replacing with 3 we get 1 plus f dash of 3 square let me write 3 square minus 1 times 2 times 3 over 2 times square root of 3 plus f of 3 square 
minus 1, right? So that gives us 1 plus f of 3 square minus 1 is 9 minus 1, which is 8, right? So derivative at 8 times 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 2 square root of 3 plus f of 8, right? And that gives us 1 plus. We are given derivative of the function f at 8 as 3. So we'll replace this with 3. So we have 3 times 6 divided by 2 square root of 3 plus value of function f at 8 is 0. So that's what we get. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. So we get 19. And in the denominator, we have 2 square root 3, right? So that becomes the derivative of the given function at x equals to 3 from the given values. Now, some of you can actually rationalize this and then write your answer without square root 3 in the denominator, right? So let me that leave that part for, for you to do. So you have to multiply and divide by square root of 3 to get the final answer. I hope that's okay. So with this, we'll end this video and I hope you've understood the concept of finding derivatives using the chain rule. Feel free to share my videos, subscribe to them and post comments. Thank you and all the best.